It's March 9th, 2012. Oh. And they're going to read up front so we can accommodate both the drawers and the readers. The reader, readers should be over by about 9. But I want to stream it on the internet, so. <laughs> Set the futon on the curb that same night. This next one is a, um, uh, the first paragraph from a new short story I'm working on. If she thought about it, the whole affair with Anselm had started in Sophie's bar on a sweltering July night and died somewhere on the way to the no-name pub on the first evening that tasted of fall. They spanned only one season in more bars than she meant to. She'd sworn off meeting men over alcohol on the eve of her 32nd birthday after the bad split with the Russian cabbie. But the temptation always remained. Everyone knows you can catch more flies with Guinness. <laughs> Yellow honey locusts running up the hood of my module through the godless void. The only music I can listen to is Moby, Krautrock, the boredoms, things like that. Music that's only about motion, hurtling through space, the galaxies flashing by. On these numbing suburban rounds, the music puts me in a different light. It cinematizes me. I use my card at the YMCA on Ridge Road. I run on the treadmill, trying to outpace the past, my bullshit guilt my anger and illusions, my sentiment, myself, trying to drown out the reiteration of those three names, X, Y, and Z, my mantra, X, Y, Z, trying to break free of the prison I've built, of failure, of guilt, it's the air I breathe, the universe I've built against the real one, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. Early morning I leave there with my shirt soaked and walk into the wind under rain dark skies, the headphones around my neck emitting a tiny, tinny love that loves the love that loves the love that loves the love to love the loves the loves to love the love the loves. And it's a long way to Hill Street. It's a long way to Hollywood Boulevard, too. Once you understand you're going to die, your experience of time changes. It's not score one for the artists against death. I felt like I wasn't alone. There were artists all over the world and all down through time, and everyone was part of the same effort, trying to capture the flash of a thought, a memory, a moment, whatever was ours to capture in the face of forgetting and death and oblivion. Top of the subway stairs, I run into Tony. He's taking out the garbage, putting new bags in the cans, and then we're standing outside his door, it's late on a spring afternoon, and we're standing there with our hands in our pockets, taking it all in, the people going by, and Kellogg's Diner, and the traffic, and the trees in McCree Park, which are new again, and the sky above the BQE. This light, this is the color of and yet. The color of everything outside what you've decided, outside of what you know. It's like creamsicle blue. It's not even a color, it's... It's not so much a color as a, it's less a color than a bias. You can lose your faith in writing, but that doesn't quiet the voice that calls you to it, even if only to write that you've lost your faith in it. And you can see that sex is a trap, but that doesn't stop you from looking at every woman who walks by, young, old, paired up, single, healthy, or half dead or pregnant. <laughs> And it doesn't mean that the sight of them doesn't hurt. You can tell yourself you've outgrown love, but that doesn't mean you're no longer alert for its approach, 
And you can dismiss God, but remain alert for His presence. And with no belief, even in meaning, you go on manufacturing it and projecting it on everything around you. What is it that keeps going beyond the scope of belief and disbelief, illusion and disillusion? It's not hope. It's life, I guess, which is everything what you think, <coughs> which is everything except what you think it is. Everything except your ideas of it. Again, the elevator came down and the guy slid the gate aside. I stood the ladder against the back of the car and rolled the dolly in and told the guy seven. I think.